Hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here. My name is Colleen. Good afternoon guys. It's literally 12 in the afternoon. Today we have a lot on our schedule. We have some events to go to and I had to get ready fast because I slept in one hour and that one hour was so crucial that now I'm running a little bit behind and I'm a little bit worried. I'm just gonna make a quick coffee. Lately, I've been using this like Nescafe like French vanilla one and it actually tastes really really good So while we wait, I think I want to also have a yogurt because I am obsessed with this one My friend Cassie put me on this and I can't stop eating it now And basically I guess in the states you guys kind of already have something like this. It's like Chobani I think you basically have like a bunch of toppings in the yogurt and all you do is dump it on the other side and then now you have like a protein filled yogurt to have i was honestly just waiting for my kettle to turn off because it was a little bit loud i wanted to bring you guys with me along with this exciting day because i feel like events even for me are still pretty new i wanted to bring you guys along because you know you guys are a part of my life and i thought it would also be fun to bring you guys along and see for yourself what a little event would be like. I'm sure you guys see it all over TikTok and Instagram stories and from your favorite creators, but this is gonna be like a more like in-depth and I'll bring you guys along with every single step of the way. I guess we can also talk about how a PR event invite works. Essentially a PR agency will reach out to you, inquire about you attending a potential event that they're gonna be having for a, you know, brand's new launch for a new product or sometimes brands will even have events just to have an event and connect creators the next question that you also might be wondering is how do pr agencies even find content creators and how do they pick and choose i feel like they invite a lot of content creators who can relate to the product that they're trying to promote maybe a makeup brand is promoting something for like skincare so they're gonna invite some skincare girlies and influencers and creators sometimes it could also just be because how they engage with their audience and then other times it could also just be that the creator has a lot of social Social media presence and their engagement is really really high and if you're finding it a little bit hard to get yourself out there and for PR companies to reach out to you to attend these events in the past what I've done is I would you know follow the PR agencies on their social medias interact and engage 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 and then also if you're seeing that there's an event that they hosted that you're interested in you could like flip back and also just say hey like I saw that you had an event for XYZ I create this type of content that I feel like aligns with this I would love to attend your next one if you do have one in the future and then they could keep you in touch You can also send like your media kit basically just having all of your platforms on there If you want you can also provide your rates and I think this year is all about putting yourself out there I feel like for the longest time when I was starting off my content creator thing going on here I would always be so shy and I would just wait for um companies to reach out to me for these opportunities when in reality it should also just be a mix of both of you reaching out and the companies reaching out to you so yeah i won't even lie to you my room is really messy right now anytime that i'm getting ready for anything it is a shit show in here anyways i'm gonna show you guys quickly what i'm gonna be putting in my bag this is the bag that i'm gonna be bringing i feel like it just has a lot of space in it so it also is my work bag so i have a random fork in here from my lunch so i guess to quickly do like a what's in my bag so from these earrings these lisa goslin ones it actually came with a little dust bag and i like to keep my lash brushes out of the way and hidden from all the dust and debris that's going around in my bag so i like to keep my lash brush in here because you never know when you're going to need to brush your lashes out if they're looking a little wonky in a photo keep that in there so it's just a little one like this for makeup i feel like it's really important to keep the products that you're using in your purse you need to you know pat down a greasy little spot that you might have on your face it's just nice to keep it with you so this is a new one this is a one size um foundation powder it's their turn up the base one one and I am using the shade light 2n and it's just like a nice little compact I personally really like this one and I used it today so again you just want to keep all the products that you are using this little powder puff is from Amazon look at the one that they sent though I was shook it's huge look at the difference 
The next thing that I'm always going to keep are some lip products. So these are the ones that I've been using. I also like to just keep this with me, which I'll talk about in a second, but these are the ones that I'm using today. So on my lips, I have the Tower 28 Multi Liner One Liner in the color Fill Me In. It's just like a really neutral shade that's really close to my lip color. This is the lip gloss that I have. So this is the Kiss like Kiss Lashes. I didn't know that they have lip glosses, but I'm using the one that smells and tastes like coconut. It smells amazing and I feel like it just makes you feel like a woman. I don't know, something about it. I love it so much. The next thing that I also have, I'm just using it right now, so I'm gonna have to unclip this. It's this light from Amazon. I guess it's the Alex Earl light. I don't know if this is the exact one she uses, but it's from this brand, New Year. And what I love about it is that there's different settings. So there's like a white light, and then there's the warm light, which is honestly my favorite, especially for filming TikToks. It just gives like a glow, and it just looks really good. And then there's just like a mixed one where it's like, in between and then i always keep like an extra little battery in case my battery dies which i'm going to be filming on my camera today so yeah the dress that i'm wearing today is from garage i will link it in the description box for you guys underneath i'm actually wearing period shorts because i never knew it existed until now but they're amazing and they actually have like a full heavy flow type of compartment that just keeps everything from going everywhere and it's also short so it's just nice to have under a dress and then i'm also just wearing this little jacket it's new i haven't worn it yet i literally went to go pick it up last night because i wanted to wear it today but does this look cute don't lie to me i'll probably get it coat checked anyways so it's fine but look how cute i think this is a cute outfit i don't know then for shoes, I'm just wearing these cowgirl boots. They're like not too high, which I love because it's gonna be more comfortable throughout the day. First stop of the day is going to be for Hawaiian Tropics. I'm so excited because if you guys know, I use their tanning oil all the time. So I'm really excited to be attending this one. But anyways, I better call my Uber now before it gets a little too late. I wish I took more talking clips, but here we go with the voiceovers. After checking in, my friend Isis and I started to explore and it was literally the most well put together event ever. There were also so many cute setups for photos and the swing one has to be my favorite. It was so hot and humid, my hair started to get really frizzy, but there were also so many snacks going around, I literally couldn't help myself. I made new friends and met some of my favorite creators. This is Erin, she makes content on Instagram and TikTok, which I will link in the description box. We had the pleasure of also listening to Jessica Jensen and talk about resiliency and overcoming tough obstacles in your lifetime and also how to be a girl boss and her story was so moving and it definitely brought the room together okay guys i'm currently in the washroom right now but so far the event is going so well we had a really really good talk with jessica but her storytelling is amazing it's so loud i hope you guys can hear me but i had such an amazing time i feel so inspired now and that's what i love about these pr events is that i'm able to take something out of this and come home with a bigger mindset to do something for myself and that is all i could ask for so i had to put my leather jacket down because it's so hot outside but you got to take a lot of really good photos and they're like really cute little setups to do them i actually got them in the email just now so i am going to be posting them asap but um we are actually going to head out to another event we are going for the movie air with amazon and sneakertopia it's not a beauty event so this is going to be a new and really exciting one uh, but i'm going as a plus one with my friend isis we met her a little bit earlier on in the video and in my last vlog these period shorts i had mentioned earlier are goaded and i haven't leaked and it's been like four hours anyways i'm just gonna quickly freshen up and then head out the second event was really cool maybe a little too cool for me but there was a lot of cool artwork and an ai shoe designer booth however isis and i were so tired so we left shortly after just to hang out a little bit isis is one of those friends that will encourage you to do your best and literally that's what i love about her i always feel so inspired after hanging out with her and i think that's what makes a good friend i forgot to show you guys but we also got so many goodies at the hawaiian tropic event lots of sunscreen lots of lotion
collection and my first Stanley Cup ever. But that is a day in the life of a content creator. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Thank you.